Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA, boxing, professional wrestling, college football, professional football, any of that stuff as much as I do. I'm very shocked that Jake Paul lost this fight. But, hey, congrats to Tommy Fury for getting the job done. Oh, I got bad allergies. <clears throat> I had all day. Um, again, I guess I have no problem with Tommy Fury winning. I picked Jake Paul to win this fight. I thought he was going to get a knockout inside of four rounds, but I guess I was wrong. You know, I guess, uh, you know, here's the thing uh, to a lot of fight fans out there. I've been saying Jake Paul is a good fighter since he beat Ben Askren. <coughs> Excuse me. And I agree. Ben Askren was just an MMA fighter and a wrestler, not a boxer, but still he beat a guy who has done, who's had way more combat experience overall than Jake Paul did. And he beat him. So, it means a lot to beat somebody like him or Tyron Woodley, Anderson Silva. It's always impressive to have wins like that under your belt. So losing a fight like losing to a fight, a guy like Tommy Fury really isn't bad. It's just I just think it's just a learning experience for him. He's gonna get better from there. But hey, Tommy Fury, shout out to you, man. You got it done. Split decision, unanimous decision, whatever you want to call it, the win of the win. And it's clearly gonna boost his name. And yeah, I'm very surprised, but not a bad loss for Jake Paul at all. It's, like I said, it's a learning experience. He's going to grow from that. I think he's only going to get better. Uh, as far as seeing a rematch anytime soon, I don't know. He might want the rematch, and he'll probably win it. But, hey, uh, it is what it is.